Hi, my name is Gaurav and today we are going to perform a static analysis on an assembly. This is an assembly of a TV wall mount model. So 100 kg of load is applied on this face. The backside holes are to be attached to a virtual wall using foundation holes and in no penetration global contact is being applied between all the components of the assembly so that we can check the effect of load on each of the component in the assembly. So now we will start with the SOLIDWORKS simulation. simulation tab click on the new study button and select static click on the ok button now first we will apply material to all the components in the assembly so we expand this parts now so right click on the base component click on the apply or edit material. Here we are going to select cast alloy steel. Click on the apply button and close. So the material is applied to the base component. Similarly, you can apply material to all the other components. Now we will change the contact type which is bonded by default. We will change this to no penetration. So select no penetration here and click on the OK button. Now click on this connection advisor drop down and select contact set. Here we will select virtual wall, select the back face, now click on this target plane selection box, expand this area and select front plane. So this will define the direction of our virtual wall and click on the OK button. A virtual wall is created. As you can see, the virtual wall is quite far from the selected face. So we need to change some assembly constraints here. We'll select this face and press Ctrl and select front face and make them coincident. We will first remove this fixed constraint from this component. Select float so this component is now free to move. I will click on the mate option, select this face and select the front plane. So they get constraint, click on the OK button, press again, now back to simulation. So now a virtual wall is directly connected to the selected face. I'll add bolts, click on bolt, select foundation bolt, now select the hole, select the virtual wall,
we are going to add a preload torque of about 600 newton meter. Click on OK button. We need to select the other side of the blade. Select this one. Click OK. One bolt is added. Similarly, you can add other bolts on all the four holes. Select this edge. Select the front plane. Check reload top 600 neutral meter and OK. Foundation board sir. This one. This one. Six hundred. You can see that diameter of the bolt and nut is automatically picked based on our selection. So now we need to apply force. So click on the force option. Select this face. Change the unit. KGF and apply the load of 100 KGF. Make sure the direction is correct. You can reverse the direction by selecting this checkbox. Now the time is for mashing. We'll leave the default. Check that meshing is correct at the corners and edges. These are the high load areas, high stress areas. Now we will run the study. You can see that when solving the analysis with no penetration, an error is generated. FFE plus solver cannot solve this equation. So we will need direct sparse solver. Cancel here. Okay. Right click on this option. Click on the properties and select direct sparse solver. Click on the OK button. Now run this study. Once the analysis is complete, the results will be displayed. So here is the maximum stress 
that occurred in the analysis we check the displacement so this is the maximum displacement this is about 10 mm so that is quite large so we need to change our model one thing that we can do is add ribs here so that will support this portion and improve our model you can check the process of creating ribs in our other book SolidWorks Black Book. So this concludes the tutorial. Thank you.